Hi, I'm Brian Wood, and I'm a web developer and somebody just, I guess, creates a lot of different kinds of learning content and things like that. And I'm here with Travis Nielsen, who works at Google. Yeah. Pretty cool. What I do you do? I design search at Google, and I try to show what I learned by making videos, speaking, and podcasts. Nice. So we're going to dive into talking about the designer's role in UX, or UX designer role, we can call it, I guess. Yeah. And one of the first things I want to ask is, I want to ask what the general responsibilities for a UX designer are. Just, just lay it out there, like what are they? Yeah. You know what I mean? UX designer is such a great term. I, I love it because it's so enabling. It, it, it's such a big thing. We're talking about how does a user experience the product or the mm -hmm. brand or whatever it is. Um, and sometimes we think about uh, UI in, in terms of like making, making the pixels or making the, the surfaces or, or the, the what does it look like and how do you touch it. Um, but the experience is so big and, and so our role as a UX designer is, is bigger than the, the thing that we make. And I, and I like to think of it as a pretty powerful role because we have this, we have this mix of, of artifacts that we can create. We're makers, we make things. And then also this influence that we have. We are, we are designing the experience, right? So okay. we're very influential in the organization, but we have the power to make things. So we, so, okay, so let's talk about some of the different things that they will actually, they'll do. Yeah. Okay? And I say they, because it's a UX designer. Um, yeah, absolutely. Like, like specifically, we're, we're, let's say that I'm coming from web, and I know that I'm going to crack open a Photoshop or an Adobe XD or something like that, and just start, start hammering away, start designing. I mean, of course, I'm going to ask some questions first, maybe, mm -hmm. if I'm doing a website. Yeah. But what are some of the things that we're going to do? All those things, right? Sketches, mock-ups, wireframes, uh, prototypes, those are all a part of our, our toolkit. Mm -hmm. Those are the artifacts that we can generate. Okay. But keep in mind that these are all communication tools. Mm -hmm. A UX designer is a communicator, fundamentally. And so they're creating these artifacts to enable to, to, enable to a, tran a transfer of, of information, whether it be to the user or to the stakeholder or to the client or whatever it is. And, and this is this overlap that I was talking about of creating artifacts and being able to have influence. The reason that we create these things is so that we can influence the, the, uh, the product by giving that presentation, by, by holding that sprint, right? By leading the collaboration or, or whatever it is. That's that intersection of influence and, and artifact creation that is unique and powerful for a UX designer. Okay, and th this is, it, okay, I, I, I kind of get that. I get some of the things, and some of this is actually overlap, right? Mm -hmm. From if I'm a web designer, if I'm an app designer, some kind of designer in general, totally, yeah. I'm going to already be doing some of these things, right? Mm -hmm. But we're also, like you said, we're focused on the user. Mm -hmm. We're trying to kind of advocate for them, right? That's kind of, I think that you said that earlier. Totally, right? we okay. are their advocate for sure. Okay, okay. Um, so uh, what, I guess, what are some of the things that you need to have to be a good UX designer aside from, you know, we all know we have to have the tools and the, you know, design knowledge and things like yeah. that, but what are some of the things to be a good UX designer? I mean, tooling and design knowledge is, is, is like fundamental to mm -hmm. what we do for sure. But ultimately, a good UX designer is an empathetic communicator. That, that, that really is it. Explain that to yeah, me. Em yeah, empathetic is, is what I mean. Like, is, is not that you like, so sympathy and empathy I really say, get I, I, I think sympathy up. and I'm like, Sympathy no. is like, I can feel for you. Yeah. I'm sorry that you yeah. had a bad day. Yeah. Empathy is, I understand why you think the way you do. Interesting. And I can, je I can, I can guess what you're going to do next. And right? It, okay. Yeah. And, and th this is going to be based on what? Like how, cause, cause hopefully on research, <laughs> okay. you're not okay. just making it up. You're not, just, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sensitive people are not empathetic. Okay. No. Okay. People that are researched <laughs> can be empathetic. Okay. So it comes down to, to research, which we're going to start to, you know, we're going to, we're going to talk a lot about yeah. all these different things, but it's, so as we're creating this, this widget, this thing, it's not a matter of us just going in and jumping into the design, the thing that we're going to create in a Photoshop or an XD, like I already said. Right? Totally. Yeah. It's trying to kind of back up, take a bigger picture. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the idea, right? Because mm -hmm. we were, t you know, all this. And and to me, actually, communicating is is huge. It's it's in almost anything we do, right? And mm -hmm. to be a good communicator is something that we we need to have on our side or be able to do. Communication is the ultimate expression of what a UX designer does. Okay. And so when I said a good UXD is an empathetic communicator, so they're able to make researched understanding. Uh, artifacts about what the user needs and wants okay. and be able to communicate that okay. through to the stakeholders, to 
the, the, the clients to the user itself. The user wants to know that we understand what they need. Okay, I got gotcha. you. That's great, that's amazing. So I just want to kind of wrap up a little here. We, we do have a lot of different skills we're going to use as UX designers, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. We do have overlap though, as far as, let, let, let's say you are a web designer or somebody coming into this, we mm -hmm. do have some overlap, but there are some things that, that come into play here that we need to be able to do. Like you said, being an empathetic communicator, mm -hmm. right? Going in and saying, um, you know, we need to be able to kind of think of the user Think of the end user when we're developing or when we're creating these things. And I don't want to say the word develop because that's a lot of times connotates or thinks of like code and things like sure. that, right? So, but it's going through and just understanding what role we play as a UX designer and what we have to do, right? Mm -hmm. That's kind of the idea. Absolutely. Okay. Great.